Hello, 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 hello. Good day. Uh, welcome to this channel. Today we want to look at T-Test, analyzing T-Test using SPSS. Now, what is the concept of T-Test? T-Test is just about looking, it's just to look for the relationship between two means, two means, to look for the relationship between two means. Here, uh, in this tutorial, we'll see how we use T-Test to do that using SPSS, using Excel, and also doing T-Test manually. I will try my best to be brave in this tutorial. Now, you can see that on your screen, you have the Excel sheet, the Excel sheet of the questionnaire where the coding was done. The questionnaire is a 12 item questionnaire and 50 respondents, uh, sorry, 100 respondents was used for this research. Now, the if function in Excel is very important. Uh, in each of these questions, these are the responses, the respondent one, respondent two. So I was able to use the if function to code them. I was able to use if function to code. That if it is SA, you put it there for if it is A, you put three just that way. So I did the coding in Excel. Then before I took the coding, I took them out and separated it because the research question is a poor research question to look for the level of tolerance between male and female so the group male is a mean and the group female is another is another mean that we we'll look at two categories then also we we'll look at the level of tolerance indulgence indulgence between those in the local in the rural environment students in the rural environment and students in the urban environment we we'll also look at the level of tolerance between Students in private school and students in public school that will look at the level of tolerance between students from broken home and students from home that are intact. So on what we we'll see next is the presentation, the presentation we did this using Microsoft Word, we decoded it after we got the responses from Excel, we decoded it so that we have this, but it's just simple, very simple, the number of people that answered was the ruler, the number of people that answered and we got the percentages and so on. But in the analysis, and the analysis of the data, we use what we have as the statistical package for social sciences, the statistical package for social science, and that will have it here, the statistical package for social science. So on your screen, you can see what we have there, the coding. So these, the people for male, the response for male, and that male is for research question one, for research question one. So to do this, all we have to do is call to analyze. When you get to analyze, then you go to where? Well, you go to compare means. You know, I told you that T-test is all about the comparison of means. Mean, mean between one category and mean between another category. So we have uh, compare means, you go to compare means, and you come to independent sample teachers. Independent sample teachers. When you do this, they choose the test variable. What are you testing for? What are you testing for? You are testing for 
this particular thing. You are testing for this, testing for this, and you are testing for this. That is the response you got from the people. Then what is the group variable? The variable that has the two groups, like the male and the female, the group that have the male and the female, the group that have the broken home and the intact home. So we we'll pick this and we'll send it to this location. Now you define your mean. Now you define your mean. In defining your mean, you should be able to specify your group one as one, your group two as two. Now I'll tell you, I'll show you that when you come to my uh, to when you come to let me go back when you come to the data coding sheet of the SPSS and you toggle between labor and value, you see that the values here in this home type that have the sex, the male and the female, they actually change. The male is represented by one and the female will have two. So this is why when you get to analyze, compare me, and you take your independent, sorry, independent sample teachers, analyze, Compare me, independent sample teachers, go to your independent sample teachers, and you pick this as that is the, 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 the questions those people answered, then you pick this as your grouping, then you define your mean, that is category group one is represented by one, and group two is represented by what, two. That is male and female, the two groups there. Then all you have to do is say OK. Now, after you click OK, you see the groups here, male and female, and you see the table, the independent samples test, the table which we use for your interpretation. Use that for your interpretation. Now, When you find out this, you'll be able to, with ease, conclude your t -test. So, when we go back, we'll find out that with ease, the interpretation was done with ease. Now, you see that on the hypothesis thesis, testing, sorry, the hypothesis testing for research question one, after this was done, then we have to interpret. And this is the condition for interpretation. This is the rule for interpretation. Now, for interpreting what you have on your, what you have on for interpreting what you have on this page, then you have to understand that rule. You have to understand the rule. As without understanding of the rule, there will not be concrete interpretation. So you have to understand this rule. And this is the rule. So from, the, from this, we find out that the P value here 0 0.5 the first value here 0 0.5 p is less than it so we interpret what the bottom rule the bottom rule now when you see this test you see if p is less than or equal to 0 0.5 what is the p the first p is this this significance so we have it here at 0 0.02 0 0.288 which is less than 0 0.5 so you interpret this button the button rule the button rule the button rule that's what you will interpret but if it is higher than 0 0.5 you interpret the top rule then you take this df your df is always your number subtracted by two. 
So since we have 100, 100 minus 2 gives us the DF of 98. So that is the simple way to interpret your T test. Meanwhile, you must always bear it in mind that you should not forget this rule. You should not forget this rule as it is seen on the screen. Don't forget the rule. Don't forget the rule. So in this aspect, now I will show you from this table, you see the significance here is less, lesser than 0 0.5. So we interpret what? We interpret the bottom rule. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Please, if you find it helpful, I will come up with more and simpler explanation. Just because of time constraint, I don't want this tutorial to be more than 10 minutes and it's already over 10 minutes now. Please just consume this for the moment. Then I will bring out a video on how you can do the tutorial, how you can solve your t-test 